Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I had a dream the other day, and I truly believe it's from the Lord. And last year I had this feeling that the husband of one of my best friends had passed away. Many years ago, the Lord had given me a dream of my best friend, and she looked very young, and her hair was dark and flowing, and she was laughing with such joy, and she was riding this old car as fast as she could go, real fast, and they loved old cars. Well, when I saw that dream, I woke up the next morning and I got to thinking about that. And I called her because I wanted to see how she was. There was no answer. So I went on Facebook and found out that she had passed away two weeks earlier. Well, last year, I had this feeling that her husband had passed away. So I went on Facebook, but there was nothing about him. But the other day I was praying, I said, Lord, is he still alive? Well, I had a dream about him. I saw Leo and him in this church service. I dreamed that I was in this church service, and I looked across the room, and I saw him and Leo sitting together, and it almost looked like a picture. And he had his arms around her, and they were kind of like hugging each other, and it was just beautiful. So when I woke up, I thought, hmm, I think the Lord may have answered my prayer. So I went on Facebook again over a year later from when I looked last time. And there it said that he had passed away last year. So I think the Lord answers our prayers when we pray to him and we ask him. And he communicates with us. And then I got to thinking about Lil when I was young. And she was going through this trial. And it was almost kind of comical the way she was sounding because she was just griping and she was just complaining. And she started sounding like Job did. Remember how Job had gone through that horrible trial? And that one point where he was complaining about ever having been born. And that's what she was doing. And remember Job said that, I'm paraphrasing, can't remember the exact words, but he said, Cursed was the day he was born, and he abhorred the day that he was born, and it was a bad day, sad day, whenever they announced to his mother that a boy child had been born to her. And that's the way Lil was talking. <laughs> she was just saying that she wished she had never been born, and, and cursed be the day she was born, just things like that. And I remember back then how I was almost chuckling on the inside listening to her because it was so dramatic, her words. But have you ever gone through a terrible trial and you just felt like God wasn't listening to you or he wasn't even there? And I've been there a time or two myself and I could kind of relate but then that made me think about the time that the disciples were in that boat in that terrible storm and they were rowing and trying to get to shore and they were tired and they were weary and they were in fear for their lives. Remember that? And then... It said, Jesus came walking on the water to them. And I think that is one of my most favorite pictures of seeing Jesus walking on the water. 
And then reading the description of Jesus walking on the water to those terrified disciples. And Jesus comes to the weary worn and sad. He comes to the ones that are going through a terrible trial. That's what he does. Oh, he's just wonderful one. Look how he came on Christmas Day. Now, I know they say that the 25th of December is not the real date of his birth. And if you've ever watched Jonathan Kahn videos, you'll see where it explains that Jesus was born around March or April because it says in the book of Luke, I believe, that the shepherds were watching their flocks by night. And he said that's a huge clue of when Jesus was born because March or April was when the shepherds watched their flocks by night. But God sent his son Jesus to this earth to be born of a virgin so that we might be redeemed from the pit, so that we might have salvation, so that our bodies might be healed, so that our souls could be filled with joy and laughter. That's what God wants. He wants all of the good things for us. He comes to the weary, worn, and sad. He comes to the ones that are just downtrodden. They feel like they don't even want to live anymore. He comes to them. He reaches out his hand to them, and he wants to save, heal, and deliver. And that's the message that he is giving us today. And he is here with us during this season. And I just thank him and I praise him for everything that he has ever done for me and for you. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Amen.